hello everyone welcome to another video in this video we'll discuss an important use case that uh, how you can use uh, uh, the date picker in copilot studio in microsoft copilot studio most of the times when you ask a question to the user to enter a date time uh, you have an option here right if you want to ask a question and you want to use a uh, use an option like uh, date entity for example enter date of birth then here if you choose the entity called as date it is not giving a date picker right if you use date here and we just save and test it is not giving a date picker user has to manually enter the data and it is difficult for the user to enter a proper formatting of the date field right whether it is mmddyy or ddmmyy right that's why it is very important that you need to provide let's say let me refresh it and uh, click on thank you to initiate this topic i'm working on thank you topic so here it will ask enter your db data oh, sorry data birth you see so when this question is asked user may do a wrong entry right so instead of this if you provide a date picker it be it is a better way of user experience so how can you do that this is not possible without adaptive cards so what you do you just ask a question using adaptive card okay so click on let me add another step here and click on add question or add ask with adaptive card and in adaptive card you have to design the card here which supports date picker so click on this and click on properties and click on the adaptive card here you find json option and formula option i will come to formula option later on in later video but right now you just json card and click on adaptive card where you can design right here this is the adaptive card designer integrated inside from within the copilot studio where you can drag and drop uh, controls and design the card here so first i want to display a date picker so what i'll do i'll just drag a input date and drop it here you can use drop downs choice set you can use input box editing control okay for feedback purpose normal input text okay it is number input it is uh, text input you can also uh, use a time control right time control so that time uh, can be picked right so what you can do you can just use drag and drop this one and give a label here let's say select date and in the id selected date okay and i want to also capture time component so i'll drag input time also below this okay and give the label as id i will give selected time and drop it here and give a label as select timing okay now you can add a action button so click on the action button action set and drop it here if you scroll down you will find there is action set use submit button i want user once the data is entered user will submit so in the submit button you can just uh, give the label as uh, submit and that's it okay you can define if your field is mandatory or not if you think that that should be mandatory you can select it is mandatory in the property uh, required okay and you can give a message required message that uh, that is mandatory okay and save it now click on close now you'll see the adaptive card is prepared for you you see and this adaptive card looks like this select date select time and submit and for adaptive card the output is also uh, selected here selected date and selected time once the user select the date and the timing 
you can just display message what is selected so click on send message and these variables that you can display in the message so uh, you let's say you want to define a message review you selected date use the variable option here you will use the variable on the above available selected date variable which is the date object next selected timing and you can define from the variable now save it now i'm good to test so adaptive card is giving more power to me uh, or to robot or to, to the chatbot or to the corporate studio to display a date picker so that user can select without typing so let us see how it works let me initiate this topic using the phrase ty because ty is also used to initiate this now you see it will open an adoptive card now i can select a date from this date picker you see now click on this and date picker is ready for me i can choose any month any year right so i can use let's say 78 february and a date done right so how easily a user can interact with this input box without typing right next timing you can also use timing here in a drop down am pm everything is available so let's say 4 am that's it and submit and here it will display the message review you selected date this and selected timing is this you see how easily we can integrate the complex controls like date pickers and timing uh, pickers in adaptive cards inside copilot studio and it is very generic use cases in all our projects thank you everyone watching this video see you next time bye